Good morning and welcome to the 2023 Heart Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Courtney Jackson, and today we are delighted to be joined by Clark University head coach, Coach Chris Myron, and senior Riley Bohannon. Coach Riley, how are you guys doing today? Good. Well, thank you. All right. So Riley might be a little sore. We had a scrimmage yesterday. So. <laughs> a scrimmage yesterday. Good. Glad to see you guys hitting the courts and getting ready for the season. Coach, you've had a couple of weeks now with the squad. Tell us how practices are going so far. Um, honestly, there's been a lot of learning. Um, I think we've really accelerated just in the last week and a half. Um, we have 19 new bodies this year. Um, so we have a lot of people that are learning our systems, just learning our names, our offensive and defensive strategy, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think they're catching on really fast. And I think things are really, we're working out the kinks and moving smoothly. So, Yeah, well, tell us about Riley and her importance to the team, especially with having so many new bodies. So Riley will be a four-year uh, returner for us. Um, and she has been in the libero position for us. Um, I see her being very strong for us defensively. Um, she has also been selected as a captain by our team for this year. Um, so she obviously demonstrates excellent leadership abilities as well. Um, I think that the team really trusts and relies on her. Um, and as we all know, we need our liberos to direct traffic in the backcourt. Um, and she does an excellent job of that um, using people's names, covering uh, taking second ball when we need her to take second ball. Um, just really a very strong leader for us all around when she steps onto the court. Well, Riley, let's get to know you a little bit better. Um, tell us about where you're from. Um, so I'm from Jefferson City, Missouri. Um, it's like the, the capital of Missouri. So some people know it, some people don't. Yep. Well, how'd you get into the game of volleyball? And what is it about the sport that you love? Um, I mean, I don't remember what drew me to volleyball. I think like I played basketball for a long time before I played volleyball, but I think one of my friends was playing volleyball and I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Like I'll try it out. And I wasn't very good at it. And, uh, but I kept going and I think I just love the competitiveness of it and, um, how fast paced it can be. Well, Coach, um, talk about the camaraderie of this year's team. Do they have a good feel for each other at this point? Um, honestly, concerning the fact that we're bringing in two-thirds of our team is brand new, um, I think that we're doing an excellent job with that. Um, I've really been trying to mix things up in the sense of um, when we're doing ball handling or when we're at the end of practice and cooling down, they're, like, meeting new people while we're, like, cooling down. Um We've really been mixing things up on the court for six on six and scrimmages. Um, and since it's such a large pack of freshmen um, and we all know how fun social media is these days, um, they kind of really got to know each other prior to stepping on campus, um, which is something that I always try to do with all of our incoming um, so that they have familiar faces and familiar names when they step on campus. Um, we have a lot of people that are coming from a distance. So, We've got some California, we've got some Texas, we've got Louisiana, we've got Florida, we've got Indiana. So it's not just our tri-state. Uh, we have Canada, we've got a Canadian as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I think um, having that opportunity on social media and then just the mixing up in practice right now has really helped out. I think our returners are also doing an excellent job of, I mean, I said Riley directed traffic in the backcourt but a lot of our returners are doing an excellent job also of just navigating for us and helping them on their way. Um, classes for us start on Monday. Um, I think we're going to be relying on our returners at that point as well. And just letting our freshmen know, because fall sport is hard with classes starting right away and starting a new life. Um, but I think they'll be there for us to support them as well in their academic work too. Well, with that many new players, it's nice to at least have 10 matches that are non-conference coming up. Um, what do you hope to see from the squad in those early matches? What kind of progress are you hoping to see in that first month competition? Um, really, honestly, right now, I'm just looking for an increase in our level of play. Um, I know that we have the ability to make some real changes this year in looking at our results from last year. Um, I think that we need to 
take what we're doing in practice and put it on the court for us in matches um, and competitions. Last year, um, I don't think I've ever had a team that has wanted to win so badly. Um, and they they worked their butts off. They worked their butts off every single day. And now, honestly, it's going to come down to execution. Um, we had so many sets where we would get up to 21 and 22 points and we would just fall a little short. Um, but we know that in this conference and how tough this conference is, not only just independently, but also in regard to respect within the country, this is a very tough conference. No one is going to give you those last three points. You will have to earn them. So we will have to, we will have to execute in order to get on the other side of that 25 points. Yeah. And Riley, you are a senior. Um, tell me how you embrace leadership roles within the team, not only on the court, but also with so many freshmen coming in. Like Coach said, playing a fall sport is hard. How can you be a leader on campus as well? Um, so I've tried to like let the freshmen know like hey it's okay to struggle a little bit like it's very hard to keep up with classes and have a small sport and let them know that like not only I'm there for them but they have a whole group of girls like coach tells us that we're all a family and I think we truly embrace that and I think that letting them know that they can go to all of us is really important. And when it comes to the athletic side, the heart is such a strong conference across all sports. So what advice are you giving to these incoming student athletes who are about to play in the Heart of America Conference uh, for the first time for women's volleyball? Um, to be ready, like it is a good conference. Like coach had a whole talk with us last season about how, you know, do we want to be winning more games in a different conference or having the competition that we have now and the conference that we have now? And I think we all agreed that we want to be in this conference with the competition. And I think the competition is just always a good learning experience for everyone. All right. And coach, how excited are you for another season competing in the hearts? And what's it going to take for your team to reach its goals? Um, I'm really excited. Um, I think that not only our returners, I think, are coming back with a fresh look um, and have shaken off the dust and they're ready to dig back in and go right back at it and go after everyone. Um, but again, I think that new crew coming in has given us a fresh look too, just in the sense of like, college, like they're, they're doing their dream job right now. They all had the dream of playing in college and they're there to do it. And I think they're working themselves really, yeah. really hard every single day too. Um, my ultimate goal. I mean, honestly, everybody can look at our record from last year and everybody can see where we were at. So um, we were at the bottom of the conference last year. Um, my ultimate goal, honestly, I would really like to get in that seven or eight seed and make it into playoffs. Um, that is my true team goal at this point. Um, anything higher than that is going to be icing on the cake. Um, I think that us making that big of a jump at this level of competition is realistic um, but also lofty. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have to play solid from beginning to end and continue mm -hmm. to increase our game just like the rest of the teams are gonna do, um, you know, from August all the way to November. Yep. All right. Well, Coach Riley, thank you so much for the time today and best of luck to you guys in 2023. Thank, thank you. you. We really appreciate it.